Hi guys, welcome to Indie Nerds. My name is Bethany and I am a type 5. And my name is Grace and I'm a type 7. And here at Indie Nerds, we like to look at the Enneagram through some kind of fun and quirky stuffs. So, <laughs> couldn't think of the Very word. Very eloquent. Thank you. <laughs> so, today we are, so we're in the middle of our holiday season. Okay, well, half season really. But um, today we're talking about the Thanksgiving Day activities that each type should be doing, um, or we predict they will be doing. Um, so we're going to jump in because this is meant to be a little mini episode, not a super long one. Um, so Thanksgiving Day activities. Let's start with the three because I feel like this is a pretty obvious one. Okay. Um, the type three is going to be obviously playing flag football outside they're gonna be the ones that are like you know uh coordinating the game they're gonna sign teams they may even have like um the little flag like things that you wear in your hip <laughs> like they have them ready to go like they're ready for this flag football growing up we didn't do this <laughs> this was not part of my family by any means um did you guys like play? um <laughs> no Mm -mm. No. no, I remember one year when my whole family was together, like extended family, we played a baseball game when I was really young, and I got a home freaking <laughs> run, and I was like Amazing. seven years old. Brandon so. would be so proud of you. <laughs> I don't think I've ever told him that. Wow! Oh my gosh! Um, the crowd went wild. It was beautiful. Um, I think also if a three really wants to like go over the top lean into that four and get creative or maybe even two to bring everybody together. They could even have like t-shirts ready to go with yeah. like, oh, you know, would. team would. names, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we're thinking just really active kind of thing. You could yeah. insert whatever game. It could be baseball. It, it could, could be, be... <laughs> one time. One of my favorite um, Thanksgiving traditions I ever did. I went home with one of my friends when I lived in California and they did a pumpkin roll. <gasps> Have Fun. you ever done that? No. They had, we were on this house on a big hill and everybody got a pumpkin and you just rolled it down the hill to see who's got pumpkin went yeah. first. And Ooh. then hopefully they exploded too. So it was so much fun. I could see three is doing that too. I have on the other hand shot, um, potatoes at pumpkins before <gasps> oh. from a potato launcher. <laughs> I've done that before, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah, so <laughs> active slash violent. Right. That would be the three. Okay, um, so then when we skip around, though, I have to, like, keep track of numbers that we have to happen. Um, okay, so... We'll just go right to four. Four? Okay. And then go okay, go ahead and explain your reasoning behind the, okay. the four. When I'm thinking fours, I'm thinking nostalgic, um, and I'm thinking specifically um, my lovely sister-in-law she's a four and she loves like fall decor everything fall and I think she feels the same way about Christmas and stuff so I can see fours setting the mood they might be setting the tablescape up they will be picking the playlist have the background music going finding the proper candle all that kind of stuff they will probably be decked out not dressed like as a turkey necessarily <laughs> but they will be decked out in like the cutest fall schmall it's fall y'all kind of a um fit for yeah. the day you know yeah I agree with that yeah I agree I think a four is maybe setting the mood um maybe even orchestrating some kind of creative activities to mm -hmm. go as well um during throughout the day entertaining the kids because kids always need something to do yeah um so doing the little like you ever do those um we should do these like reeky dinks do you know what those are? No. <laughs> okay. I like that word. Ring -ding. Um, So it's a, it was like a little um, thing that you would color and it was made of like some material that would shrink down. shrink -a -dinks. That's what they're called. Oh, shrink -a -dinks. okay. Not ring -a -dinks, but shrink -a -dinks. <laughs> Um, And so like you would color it and then it would like shrink down in the oven. You'd put it in the oven and shrink down. And oh then yeah, you I know like, what that is. Okay. And yeah. then you can like puncture it and mm -hmm. make earrings or, yeah. or yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. We used to do those a lot when we were kids um, during the thanksgiving time so i feel like a four could help orchestrate that as well i think fours would also be bringing up again with the nostalgia like oh remember thanksgiving five years ago when we all got chicken pox you know like bringing up <laughs> oh, <God, chicken> pox. <laughs> <laughs> on turkey day um <laughs> they'd be bringing up all the memories yeah i yeah reminiscing. yes reminiscing nostalgia i agree with that very much so Okay, so now let's go to the five because 
I am a type five and I think that I would be building a puzzle off to the side. <laughs> so <laughs> I, first of all, I love puzzles. Puzzles are a lot of fun. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Puzzles are a lot of fun. Okay. Um, I enjoy it. It's a quiet activity. Uh-huh. You get to solve a puzzle. Sometimes puzzles are like a mystery and you get to solve a mystery as well. Um, have you seen those where it's mm-hmm. like, they have okay they have different types of puzzles and there's one that's like a solve a mystery and there's like a book involved and you like solve the puzzle pieces and like it's really cool hmm. i've never done it but it sounds like really fun anyways i do feel like a five is going to pick the quiet activity and it's off to the side like building a puzzle or I'm trying to think of another quiet activity <laughs> reading a book knitting <laughs> knitting yeah something like that you know they're not going to draw attention to themselves they'll just be there quietly enjoying the atmosphere and they're going to take advantage of you know it's a day off work during holidays yeah Mm -hmm. um i cannot think of anything worse than doing a puzzle (laughs) i hate puzzles (laughs) i know many people do and i actually really respect you if you have the patience for a puzzle but like during covid when puzzles became like huge my mom got into them i was like i would rather rip out every single hair individually on my head (laughs) Um, and then eat them, then do a puzzle. <laughs> so You're so dramatic. <laughs> I, I will not be joining you on the puzzle. Well, I might actually, I might sit down for like two and a half minutes. And then get, and up then and get, get frustrated and go on. My family, we used to do puzzles together. Okay, so there would be, we would from Thanksgiving, well, at Thanksgiving Day, mm-hmm. or Black Friday or whatever, we would buy a Christmas themed puzzle. Okay. So then all the way through the Thanksgiving to Christmas, we would build this giant puzzle i hate you (laughs) no i think it's super cute i just would not have thrived with that (laughs) so every year i this was for years our whole family me with my mom and dad my sister and brother we'd all sit and do the puzzle and we would usually do it in the morning had coffee it was so peaceful you know it was like had like a coffee and we would just be solving our puzzle no, that's actually, that's super cute. And that's like a tradition you can continue on with your family I could, someday. Sure. I think yeah. that's cute. Yeah. So I'm going to do it with your family. I mean, <laughs> you can. Everyone else will join in. I will literally be the only one that's like, okay. Okay. Well, no. All right. Well, okay. Let's go to seven then. What would okay. a seven be doing? Or are we skipping six? <laughs> I am skipping okay. six right now. Okay. Sorry. Because I want to make fun of a seven. Um, <laughs> Bethany came up with this one, so you're making fun of yourself. But I do think this would be fun. Um, she chose doing a best dressed pet contest. It sounds like a lot of fun. It does sound like a lot of fun. And I have three pets, so I could absolutely run I with also that. Also have three pets. Yeah. Oh my and gosh. <gasps> I would do a like a couple's costume, oh, but like yeah. a, with all three of them. Like, like the, the Sanders 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 sisters. sisters. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Or like Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yeah. So <laughs> So I would do like Gimli, Legolas, and Aragorn. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just like imagining Salma right now. He would, or she would like hate, hate it. Yeah. Hate she it. would be Legolas for sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway. So, but, but along the, like those lines, I think that a seven will be doing some type of contest, yeah. some type of game, some type of like to get everybody involved together, mm-hmm. some type of game or f- contest or I don't know, just Something super duper fun for the day. Um, because and sevens would be way more passionate about it than anybody else. And we'd probably get frustrated that nobody else cares as much as we do. But we would have sent out the text, like either pet contest or like, you know. Pie baking contest. Yeah, or, or yeah. like mm-hmm. come best dressed kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. And yeah. <laughs> and then they would have been upset if they didn't win either. <laughs> I never win anything and it's the worst. That's thing. not true. <laughs> <laughs> I did win a cell phone when I was like um like eight years old. Wow. So this was like when cell phones were like brand new and wow. it would have been like a brick. Mm-hmm. I won it. But then we were literally yeah, it must have been nine. We were about to move to Japan and oh. so we couldn't like it was with Verizon or something. Oh. So I didn't even so get couldn't... to keep my my one cell phone. Oh no. I still got it. <laughs> What was the contest for? It was just like a we were at like a like a charity walk or something like oh. that, and it was one of those things oh, that like, like every raffle, yeah, and oh. won a raffle kind of a thing. So oh, okay, but it was way back like late nineties, so cell phones were like brand oh. spanking new. Ooh, yeah, that's true. That's b- before I got a phone. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay, moving on. Okay, let's go back to six. So I think a six would be doing, <laughs> it's called turkey bowling, um, <laughs> which is just setting up bowling pins and just doing bowling on turkey day. Mm-hmm. You don't actually do, like, take the turkey and bowl the turkey. Um, you could, but that is not, like, sanitary. It had yeah. to be a turkey that you're going to throw away. Um, but, I mean, it still could be fun. Those are heavy. <laughs> Turkeys are heavy. <laughs> I don't think there's good to bowl with, I guess. I wouldn't think so. Anyways, so that or other like outdoor games, um, like horseshoes or cornhole, mm-hmm. you know, those types of outdoor, I think six is because six is like the social aspect. Um, and I think they would enjoy doing those like family easy games. Mm-hmm. You know, you could have a drink in your hand and be doing cornhole and just having a good time. I think, I think that's a six's dream right there. Yeah. Like a little bit of competitiveness, but not right. hard with it. <laughs> not like, like a, a seven. seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I fully agree. I think that's great. That's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We love our sixes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, so then the type eight, I think actually, Grace, you <laughs> said they would do this one. This sounds like torture to me. Oh, me too. I wasn't making like... that face for eights themselves. It's just this activity. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd rather do a puzzle. I'd rather pull up my hair and eat it <laughs> than do this activity. And that is, you would be the fools running like a 5K or a 10K on Turkey, on, Day. On turkey Day in the morning. Why are you guys like this? You know what? Who I'm, hurt you? <laughs> no, I'm really happy for you. Like, if you, if that's what you want to do with your life, I I admire you. If you want to be healthy. <laughs> I, yeah, I ins- I'm inspired by you. Um, but running is torture, mm-hmm. literal yeah. torture. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad we agree on this. Mm-hmm. It's one thing uh, we have our priority straight. It's one yeah. thing we definitely mm-hmm. agree on. Um, but, but the pros of a turkey trot, since we just bashed it so terribly, um, <laughs> if so a turkey trot is a community event, yeah. so you are involved in your community. Mm-hmm. Um, there are little prizes at the end of a turkey trot. Usually it's usually like a medal or something. Yeah. If you do win, um, you do get to be healthy. And you get to run before you eat yeah. all this crappy food all day long. Yeah. Um, so at least you're not going to gain a thousand pounds um, at the end of the day. So, yeah. you know, there is that. Yeah. I um, mean, if you're someone weird who likes to run, then that's great. I for do you. Activity. I know people that do the turkey trots. <sighs> They're no longer in my life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They're dead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay. Moving on to our nine. Um, so this is something my sister actually has done before, um, at both Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, it is bingo playing, mm-hmm. playing family bingo, mm-hmm. um, and doing like, you make it up yourself, fill in the holes, you know, you know, for yourself and, and make it personalized to your family. Um, super duper fun. I think it's, it's a lot of fun. It's fun to make fun of your family. Mm-hmm. It is. <laughs> I've, we've never done that, but I think that sounds so fun. So yes. next you time should. I have like a. Thanksgiving with my family. I think I'm gonna organize that. Yeah, yeah. I think they would do that or any kind of like indoor um, board game. Even though I, I feel like nines and sixes are kind of interchangeable in this. Like yeah. sixes, we were saying we're doing like the family friendly outdoor games, and nines right. are doing the family friendly indoor games. And I think that could go either way. Right, right, right. But you do see you picture nines like sitting under a blanket, you know. <laughs> Being warm, drinking their hot cocoa, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and playing Settlers of Catan. You know, that kind of a thing. <laughs> if you need board game suggestions, we do have a podcast oh, yes, episode right. on board game suggestions for each type. Mm-hmm. Um, and there are several group activity board games that we mm-hmm. that we talked about. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yes, like Wavelength is another great oh, group so fun. activity one. Um, I'm trying to think of another great uh, charades. It's classic. Yeah. You know. Cranium. Yeah. Quelf. <gasps> Quelf. Yes. That's not a group oh. one, but like a big family group. Oh, one. okay. But yeah. it's still fun. But you can still play with multiple people. True. True. Um, so yeah, that's that. Okay. On to <laughs> number one. Ones are you or either gonna love this or hate this. <laughs> so we think that ones um are the type that will make you say thanks what you're thankful for before you start eating. Um, which you know, I always hate it in the moment. <laughs> but I love it. When you reflect on that, because personally, I just don't like talking about myself. Oh, okay. I'm very private. I don't want to tell people what I'm thankful for. Mm. Um, <laughs> so, but I am grateful. I'm a grateful person. Um, but you know, in the, but then when you like people actually start talking about what mm-hmm. they're grateful for, it becomes a very sincere moment. I think ones are orchestrating that 
sincerity yeah. there, being vulnerable, opening that up. Yeah. Um, we also think that ones are mostly the type to tell you about some history of Thanksgiving, do a little lesson about Thanksgiving. Um, my, my dad is a, a type one and he always, for Christmas, always gave us the history of like Christmas and yeah. like, you know, where that came from. And so I think you hit that yeah. <laughs> nail on the head there. Um, because, but, but I think it is good to acknowledge what you're thankful for yeah. and, you know, where the different holidays, you know, come from or yeah. any of that. Thanksgiving does have a, a dicey yeah. history, but, but, but who knows? Maybe they're the ones saying like, you know, they're telling us the truth. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. my dad is also one and does the same thing at Christmas. Really? Yeah. Oh, so, wow. um, our, our dads could be best friends. They could. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I think that if a one was going to like lean into their two a little bit and, um, along the same gratefulness, I could see, we didn't actually give this to anybody, but like, doing the gratefulness activities Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. a a thankful tree and you know all that kind of stuff making sure people like write down what they're thankful for and we'll put it in a a vase (laughs) and do something with it um (laughs) we'll make a book out of it yeah (laughs) yeah so i can see if they're going to be a little bit more creative a little bit more nostalgic Mm -hmm. um is that a word nostalgic 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 i like nostalgic um (laughs) it is now um Shakespeare made up a whole bunch of words, so I can do it too. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like I could see them doing that too. But ones would just be bringing it back to like, what is Thanksgiving actually about? Right, right. And so then, last but not least, we have our twos. Um, and I'm gonna add a surprise one on here that we didn't talk about yet. Ooh. I'm gonna add it on there. Okay. So first, um, we think twos are obviously gonna do a lot of the cooking. Mm-hmm. Um, cooking, cooking. They love to cook. Um, and they love to bake for people and they love to share that, like it's a form of love, mm-hmm. you know? And so I think twos are most likely to be the ones cooking, um, which I'm very grateful for. I love to cook too. So I will also be in the kitchen mm-hmm. cooking after I do my puzzle. Um, <laughs> and so then also we think twos are most likely to be video chatting with the family. Mm-hmm. Um, we got to call grandma. Yeah. So you said earlier, <laughs> we got to call grandma today. Um, and you know, just be video chatting, you know, seeing how aunt Susan's doing, mm-hmm. and, you know, I have two aunt Susan's. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't have any aunt Susan's. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then last but not least, I also think twos are most likely to be looking at black Friday deals <gasps> prior to bring black Friday. Up. Yeah. Prior up to black Friday. Mm-hmm. They're the ones that have a catalog in their hands, sifting through it, or they're online looking at the coupons uh-huh. for black Friday <laughs> because black Friday starts at Thanksgiving day now, yeah. which is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's ridiculous. But anyways, I think twos are most likely to do that. Okay. I was literally, I had a follow up question about black Friday and you just answered it. So that's oh. perfect. Yeah. Oh, well in another episode, we're also be talking about the types on black Friday, yeah. what we think they're like. Um, and I think that's going to be a blast. Yes. <laughs> so I don't have anything else to add to this episode. Yeah. I think, I think we, we nailed it. We nailed it. Yeah. Again. <laughs> well, we hope that you guys have a very happy Thanksgiving. I believe yes. this episode will be going up right before, right before Thanksgiving. Yeah. So I hope that you guys have a very happy Thanksgiving yeah. and bring some of these activities to your Thanksgiving celebration. Oh, real quick. You yeah. know, a question. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Have you ever dropped? a Thanksgiving bomb on your family because you know, that's like a thing. People drop, people drop bombs on their family of information at Thanksgiving. Cause it's the easiest to tell everybody right then in that moment. I have, have you- not for Thanksgiving. I've dropped a Christmas bomb. <gasps> what was that? that was when Brandon and I became a thing. Oh, it was at Christmas. It was at Christmas. Oh wow. Yeah. I knew prior. You did know prior, <laughs> but Wow. <laughs> I told, I mean, it wasn't actually on Christmas day, but it was when I got with my whole family and I told my sister, I was like, you need to buy a bottle of wine because I have to tell you guys something and I'm going to need some liquid encouragement. No. And so, yep. It was a big deal. Mm-hmm. It's Grace's first boyfriend mm-hmm. and only boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and only husband. And only husband. <laughs> For the moment. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> JK, hello. <LOL. laughs> so I've never dropped, I don't feel like I've ever dropped an information bomb because mm. I hoard information. I don't tell people. <laughs> so, so I've never, I've never, and then I'm trying to think of anybody who's dropped one at Thanksgiving or Christmas in my family. 
I don't know, I have an aunt that cries all the time. Every holiday, she, like, wants to talk about all the sad. She's probably a four. <laughs> she wants to talk about all the, like, all the things. She reminisces a lot. Yeah. And then she cries. And yeah. so that happens every single year. You can count on it. Lay money on it. Um, <laughs> but it's not like truth bombs or anything. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>